In this video, we will be demonstrating how to remove a mortise cylinder entry lock. This specific lock shown has a thumb latch exterior trim with a separate lock cylinder, which is also referred to as sectional type trim. Begin by loosening the set screw for the lock cylinder normally found on the front plate of the lock. If there are two set screws, it is most likely the one on the exterior side of the door. Loosen no more than four turns. Once the set screw is loose, unscrew the lock cylinder. Using a half-inserted key makes this process much easier. If the trim ring for the lock cylinder is loose, remove that as well. Next, we will be removing the exterior grip handle as well as all interior trim. To remove the grip handle, start by removing the through bolts on the interior side of the door. If the interior trim plate is larger, the through bolts may be found behind it. Once the bolts are removed, the grip handle should just lift off. Next, remove the doorknob by first removing the set screw. Once done, the knob itself should unscrew or just pull off. This knob is held on by a hook spindle. To remove, split the two halves of the spindle along the seam, then remove the half without the hook. It will be the only one that will come out at first. Then lift and pull out the half with the hook. The final piece to remove is the thumb turn assembly. To remove, simply remove the two screws on the plate and pull off. Finally, remove the two mounting screws from the front plate. Now that all obstructions have been removed, insert a screwdriver through the knob hub and apply pressure to pop the lock out of the cavity.